Hello, welcome to Kentucky Brew Review. I'm Paxson. Special K, and tonight we're doing Flying Dog Flying Zen Dog. Blaster Active Ale. I don't know exactly what an active ale is, but it is gluten reduced, 90 calories, 1.5 carbs, um, for 4.5 percent alcohol by uh, by volume beer. That's really high and such a low calorie content. It's better than any seltzer you're going to get on the market, really. Which so now very curious. How's this going to taste? Trippy bottle, by the way. Yeah, the, the bottle's kind of cool. The label's pretty cool. Digging it. It's like it has like a skulls and some kind of weird bird on it. No. Skulls and birds, all things I think. I... Yeah, I don't know exactly what an active ale is, but we're going to find out. I could probably look it up, but that would involve us doing research, and we don't do that. So. Yeah, no, screw that. Colors, which you'd expect, that Bud Light, like a light beer colored. Yep. Pretty clear, yellow. Not much in the Amber, scent, honestly. Crisp. Nothing there. I get beer taste or beer taste, beer smell. Uh, it smells like Ale a smell. like a um, like a an undescript light adjunct lager. Yes. Would be the easiest way to describe light. that. Because it doesn't quite, like Ultra has a distinct smell, Miller Lite is a distinct smell. Mm -hmm. This is more this like is the Bud Light yeah. like level. Let's try it. Can you call it a beer? I mean, it has a beer taste, but it's, does it taste kind of like watered down beer a little bit? It's something? watered down. Okay, so you get a little bit like of a malty finish, and then you get a kiss of hops. It does, in fact, taste like a light beer, like like a yeah. It's more like more the more that I drink it. The first flavor is off putting because I'm gonna say off putting, but it's so light and mm -hmm. like watery that I was yeah. wasn't expecting it. It's very. It's like the ghost of a beer, <laughs> vacant, odd. I yeah. get what you mean though. Um, the the maltiness towards the end. There's and not the, um, a lot of flavors. No, not a lot to go on. I don't even know. Uh, what the heck? It's drinkable. What are you supposed to be? Active, it's an active, active ale. ale. Okay. Does that mean right. it's like for active people, or does it mean? You think? It's, I don't. I don't know, know people, why though. a beer would ever aim towards active. The last thing I want to do is be running around after drinking beer and just throw up on myself. Uh, so this beer carbonation is right on it. Yes. Um, carbonation. It just tastes like, <laughs> like an like a. Light. Have we found like the 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 zero, <laughs> the like flat line beer here? I mean, I don't know what I'd it's call impressive this. that it's four point five percent alcohol and True. ninety calories. That's impressive because I've never seen a beer that's ninety calories with that low ABV. I mean, yeah. that's lower lower than like Yingling and Michelob Ultra and stuff like that. Right. That's impressive, but the flavor also tastes like that. So I guess I can't expect more from this beer because mm -hmm. of what the calorie content and the carbs and stuff are like. It's just. I can only think that when they made this beer, that was just what they had. They were like, it's gonna be like an ultra light, watered down tasting beer, and it's gonna just. Uh, it, um, it's for those people who. I'd want have to say it's the healthier it's the, beer. It's the closest to me, to Bud Light with a tinge of Bush Light mixed in. It's like a little crossover of a Bud yeah, and a Bush. That's what it tastes like to and, me. I don't like and to compare lighter it to that. flavor. Yeah, which those are already light. I don't like to compare it to that, but that's pretty much what I'm getting out of this. Yeah, Bud Light and... Uh, um, it really had, like lacks an identity. Bush Light. Yeah, it's kind of boring. Kinda it's, it's Though, like, it's 90 calories and 1.5 cards, so I'm going to keep that into account when I'm reviewing this beer. Fair. Uh, it's light, it's it's crisp, It's but it's it's barely any flavor there. So if you're looking for something light and you don't really like beer, this would be the way to go. But if you're buying something like this, in this price range, which is $8.99 for a six-pack... At that point, you might as well just buy Yingling Light, Bud Light, right. Coors yeah. Light, or something like that. If it, it doesn't, you know, the curtain doesn't match drapes. You know what I mean? Yeah, unless we just want to have a cool-looking bottle to be holding, You're trying to pay a lot for, yeah. and call it a craft beer, but it's nothing special. Like, it's just not... This looks like so something right out of the 90s album cover type shit. It does. <laughs> just not there. Indeed. That being said, uh, I think it's a five. I don't think there's anything bad about it, but... I think five is actually perfect. It is so, like, the middle of the road, uh... Most middle of the road thing I think I've ever had in beer um, territory. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing offensive in the flavor, but there's yeah. also no flavor. So, um, could I drink more of it? Sure. Yeah. Would I, would I like love it? No. Would, would I, I drink this it? over no. Bud Light? <laughs> I would drink this over Bud Light just because how I mentioned that it tastes like a Bud Light and Bush Light mixed. Mm -hmm. It tastes like the Bush Light has a little bit more of a malty kind of like adjuncty like lager finish. Bud Light's more like 
nothing on the end. Mm-hmm. Um, I would still I would put I would pick Bush Light over this, but I wouldn't put pick Bud Light over this. Okay, I'd probably also pick right Miller Light over this or Miller High Life. But it's yeah, it just reminds mm-hmm. me of it. It's not worth the price and for what it is. I, I appreciate what they're doing, yeah. but if they're going to do something like this, I feel like they should attack it differently. I feel like they should attack at the same price range as Bud Light, Miller Light, Coors Light, or maybe maybe even at fifty cents to eighty cents more. And they should have tackled it in cans of like six packs. Or they could do what founders do and the way they offset the price of their cheaper bloggers, they'll put fifteen packs instead of twelve packs of beer. Oh, but give you so, a little yeah, more. Yeah. So you're getting a few more beers and you might be paying three or four more dollars more, uh, but you're getting three more beers or four more beers yeah. than you would in a normal twelve pack. So And this is lighter anyway, so maybe you want those extra, I don't know. But yeah, I just for what it is, meh. I mean it yeah. exists. It's so meh. It's, it's too perfectly described as meh. I was kind of excited when I got it because I was like, oh, this might be cool and different. Yeah, well, and yeah, you see this and you see, like, the, the numbers and it's called an active ale. Like, we don't know what that is, but maybe that's something interesting. And, eh, no, mm, yeah. Not really. <laughs> yeah, I, I just can't recommend it. It's just okay. I can't recommend it just because Bush Light, Yingling Light, Michelob Ultra, Bud Select, oh, you wouldn't even all, those, recommend it. all those beers exist and they're yeah. cheaper than this. So, And they're in the same category. Uh, Bud Select and Yingling Light would be the way I would go. I would tell you to get or it even, just yeah. to form your own opinion, I suppose. Push light. But yeah, I mean, but if you're into light beers, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Yeah, if you're into light beers, maybe you'll enjoy this. I don't hate light beers. I think they're pretty good. But no. even light beers, I, like other light beers, I've liked a lot more than this thing. They have their place. Just, True, yeah. Um, I was expecting this to have, be in a craft light beer. I was expecting a tiny bit more flavor. Than yeah, those. yeah. Yeah. All right, well, that has been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. And I'm Paxson. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.